This is Red Hawk Soccer on Frontier Community Access Television. Nick Jarvis. Number five, Gates Tuttle. Number six, Tanner Finch. Number eight, Tom Kirkalonis. Number ten, Connor Wakis. Number 11, Ethan DeMeo. Number 14, Tenzin Sindhu. Number 15, Sam Felton Emmerich. Number 16, Karen Bright. Number 18, Ben Morse. And number 20, Cameron Risley. Special thank you to the Waitley Rec uh, soccer players for helping on the sidelines tonight. And if we could please rise for the playing of the national anthem. Tonight's game, the Frontier Red Hawks play host to Pope Francis. A beautiful night for soccer here in South Deerfield. Chris Collins along with Joe Thompson. Our executive producer of high school sports is uh, Kevin Murphy and Alec Eckel is here as well as the Red Hawks gets ready to take the field against Pope Francis wearing the home red uh, with the white trim and Pope Francis is in the uh, visiting white with red trim. Joe, what can we tell me about uh, this Frontier team? Well, uh, I've heard that um, they're a very explosive team, obviously all very athletic players. Uh, they've, they've always seemed to have the talent. Um, the question is in, in congealment. Uh, they've won Western Mass many a time in the past few years, so... We'll see if they can continue that streak this year. Yeah, it's certainly been a program that has, has not necessarily had to reload, but re, rebuild, but reload. I mean, they really seem to always have a very competitive team. Absolutely. And, of course, led by Nick Jarvis, uh, who will be in the Nets tonight for the Hawks. Also, uh, Tanner Finch will be out there. Uh, Tom Kirkalonis, Connor Wakis, Ethan DeMeo. A lot of uh, skilled players, as you said. And uh, we'll see how uh, things progress here tonight as Frontier will kick off, it looks like, at center field. And it looks like the Hawks have a 3-1-3-3 set. And they kick it off and we're underway from South Deerfield. And as the Hawks drop it back into their own defensive end and set it up from their own side. Put it up ahead and into Pope Francis territory, hit the up man in the back as the battle continues at midfield. And a booming kick by Pope Francis all the way down to the frontier end of the field. Francis has a little bit of a, a run in him, but uh, broken up as the battle continues for the ball on the left side. And Headman pass, broken up, and kicked out of bounds by Frontier. So a good little bid there for Francis to start. Yes, absolutely. Seems like so far all the ball has completely been on Frontier side of the field. And sent back upfield momentarily as the Hawks trying to clear the zone. And knocked back down to the right corner. Going after it is... Cam Risley, and Pope Francis gets it back. 
but the ball is turned back upfield. There's right now a bit of a, a bit of jockeying for position going on right now mm. for both teams. This is Connor Martins for Pope Francis with it. Plays it back to the up back, Joe Zulch, who pounds it down in the front here into the field, and it's picked up by Jarvis. Again, we're just underway first half here from South Deerfield. Good kick by Jarvis. Reverse header and a whistle. As Yusuf Yusuf collected the ball. It's going to be a foul on Frontier, and uh, Pope Francis will get a direct kick here. And back to pop it away is Connor Martins. And Martins legs it downfield, reverse header into the box. Mm. Battle for it, kick shot up and over the net. Good bid there. Mm. Best chance of the night so far for Pope Francis. Yeah, I think it's been unsettling to Frontier for Pope already to be playing so down their throats. Corner kick for the Cardinals. from the left side of the field. And up the head of the box, reverse header goes wide. Goes to the far side and feed back to the halfback. Quick shot, blocked in front and knocked away to the side by the Hawks. Out of bounds, it'll be a Pope Francis throw in. So right now, Frontier has got to get the ball to the other end of the field. It's been kind of lopsided so far. Mm. Head man pass, deflected, and left footed back up the field, but it's going to go out of bounds. It'll be another Pope Francis throw. Send it back to the halfback, and out of bounds again. Thrown by Pope Francis. Battle on the far side of the field. And out still, Pope Francis with the throw. Three throw-ins in a row. Trying to get the numbers on the far side of the field. And now, again out of bounds. So, Frontier pinning them to the sideline, but... Quick throw in. And crossing pass is deflected out of bounds. And it looks like this is going to be a goal kick, the way everybody's running up the field. Mm. So Pope Francis putting the pressure on the Red Hawks. And this, and this is an independent matchup. This is not a league game, but Pope Francis is a pretty competitive program, as I understand it as well. Big mm. boot down the field. Intercepted by the Pope Francis defender. Sent down to the corner. And... Battle for it right by the stripe. And Frontier is able to clear for a second. Now sent back into the box and then it's popped out by Tuttle. Big header. Headed back in by Pope Francis. That guy likes the headers. <laughs> I guess so. Sundu was, per was pursuing it out of bounds. Pope Francis throw in. As Francis has controlled the ball pretty much. Ooh. Ooh, big collision there. And Frontier trying to clear it to the side. And it's knocked up ahead. But it will be the Pope Francis player that will get to it first with a throw in. Pope Francis obviously uh, likes to play this the short pass game. Good move away from the Frontier defender. That'll give it go pass. Good tackle, tackle there. there. That was Morse with the tackle. And they cannot get it past half field, though. Almost this entire first few minutes has been in Frontier's end of the field. Ooh. Nice play. Nice little sliding tackle there by Sindhu. And it's on Frontier's... Offensive half of the field. Well, that's the first time that's happened. And out of bounds. Right back to Pope. Yep. For a long throw. Headed up. 
and out of bounds. This is going to be Risley with the throw in for the Hawks. Sends it down and is booted right back down, back behind the Frontier defender. Got a foot race down on the right wing here. And wow. it'll be out of bounds. And it's going to be off of the Pope Francis winger. Mm. You can see the speed there from Noah Rivera, Pope uh, Francis there. Yeah, he really he could fly down that right sideline. Yeah. Number 11. And it'll be a goal kick for the Hawks. 33 minutes to go in the first half. No score from South Deerfield. Big boot. Almost past half field. Reverse flick header out of bounds. So Frontier finally, it looks like, will go on the attack in the Pope Francis end of the field. Hawks to throw in near midfield. And ball's knocked out of bounds by Pope Francis. So the Hawks will once again throw it in. Looks like Wade gets the throw. Let's see how far he can pop it into the center of the field. Good long throw by Wakis. Headed back by the fullback. And here come the Cardinals again. That man pass. The up back. And he's flying down the sideline. Nice Ooh, reverse. Good, good play. By Tuttle. That was Tuttle. Oh, and Tuttle got hacked from behind. That's going to be a direct kick for Frontier. But Tuttle did a great job getting back there and yeah, he did. turning that ball back upfield. Ooh. Oof. That'll give you a headache and from experience playing huh. this game. Square ball pass over to Felton Emmerich. Up to Mayo. Looking for weight kiss. Ball is deflected in the corner. Herculonis crosses it. And it's headed back away by Pope Francis. <laughs> Square pass. And Francis half back. This is it back over to Connor Martins, who sends it down under the right wing, and it's going to go out of bounds, and it'll be a frontier throw in. Throw in, flick header. Up ahead to Wakis. Wakis battling two Pope Francis defenders. And they bring it back, and they send it all the way back to the goalkeeper. And it'll get thrown right back up, but intercepted by Frontier for a second. And turned back upfield by the Cardinals. Lead pass, too far ahead. Directed wide by Felton Emmerich. And we'll give and go ball back down to the goalkeeper, Jarvis. We'll send it back up the field for Frontier. No real shots, actually one shot on goal that went over the net. It well, seemed, seemed like Frontier had an opportunity with that cross that was uh, unable to be capitalized on there. That man pass is gonna go out of bounds. It's gonna be Pope Francis' ball. Trying to play the sidelines a bit there. Throw in. Intercepted by Frontier. Ooh. Nice ball. Uh, up ahead to <laughs> Sundu. A broken up and shot back down on the frontier end of the field and repelled right back by the Red Hawks. A little volleyball going on right now. Battle for it. Cam Risley heads it back up and Pope Francis controls. Battle for it at midfield. And the lead pass intercepted and kicked out of bounds by the frontier defender. I believe that was Karen Bright. Yep. Again, it's tough to see from this vantage point the numbers. We'll do our best to keep names in play. Bertelli now sends it. Left side, back to Bertelli. The left fullback, Bertelli, feeds it back in the middle. And a quick shot wide on the net. That was Simba Pelletier with the shot. Out of bounds. 
looks like Morse is going to take the goal kick again. This is, yep, Ben Morse. Sends it downfield. Good boot by Ben Morse. There's half field with it. Bounces into the pump Francis M, but sent back up the other way. After it is Cam Rizzi, left puts it up the field, trying to connect with one of his offensive players. Now a long lead is taken by the goalkeeper for Pope Francis. That's Tanner Kojal. We'll see what kind of a boot Tanner's got. He sends it pretty out. Pretty impressive and there. <laughs> you can knock it three quarters of the field. Yeah, that's pretty impressive, I'd say. Three headers in a row. <laughs> this is Noah Rivera. Ooh. He's intercepted that. Ooh, that's the second time that's happened to a Frontier player. That smarts. And the Hawks Ooh. trying to move Good it. Good handle there by DeMeo. Lead pass down the left wing line. Broken up, though. Good save. Oh, nearly. By Ben Morse. Yep. Morse has been impressive. One of their back line guys. And to throw it in is Andrew Mason. Throws it up ahead. And a quick shot wide of the net by Yusuf. Yusuf. 27 minutes to go here. Your thoughts, uh, Joe, early on here? It seems like uh, Pope has been in control for the most part, but Frontier is trying to mount something here, being somewhat successful. Well, they've got those speedy forwards. All you got to do is get one good ball down the sideline and you might be off the races. Good goal kick. Headed out of bounds. Frontier will throw it in. And throw down the left wing. Turned back the other way by Pope Francis. And sent all the way back down. Yeah. Emmerich here with the ball. Emmerich. Ooh, nearly. Uh, nice I got play a call there here. Tuttle. Gates Tuttle. And kick down coming from Simba Pelletier. Fires it right side. Reverse flick header goes to the corner. And back to the halfback, shot is blocked. Four or five headers in a row this time. <laughs> Let's keep record book on those. Oh, quick sp speed down the right wing, blocked, broken up by Frontier, and sent back the other way. A little volley action going on now, reverse flick header. Trying to feed the Striker Waitkiss, who's hadn't had many many chances to touch the ball today. No, he hasn't. Dead man pass, broken up, and pounded down to Pope Francis center of the field. Back to Kojil, goes down on the ground for it. That's a little unusual. Hmm. And I can see that. You want to make sure you don't make a mistake with uh, Striker right there. That's exactly right. Again, square ball. Back to the sweeper. And again, thread pass. Gonna go all the way to the goaltender, Nick Jarvis. And Nicky will boot it away. Good punt. Battle for it at midfield. Ooh. Nice little reverse. Nice there. Ooh, a lot of contact. Yes. And we got a, a Pope Francis player down on the ground from that collision. The foul was going to be on Connor Martins, who pretty much manhandled uh, Gates Finch. Tuttle. Excuse me? Tanner Finch. Tanner Finch. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So we got a direct kick here. This is going to be Ben Morris that will take it. A little chip shot. Looks like a good ball. It is a good ball, but it's going to go out of bounds. It's going to be a goal kick for Pope Francis. 
23.45 to go and some substitutions coming in for the Pope Francis Cardinals. We'll reset these numbers as we can here. Goal kick coming from Kojil. Ahead to the center half back and pushed into frontier territory. Reverse kick is reverse kick is blocked. And now here comes Simba again. Turning on the left wing, broken up nicely by the frontier defender. And the Hawks coming back the other way out of bounds. As that was Gase Tuttle trying to make a run. Quick throw in. Battle for it. Tanner Finch is up there trying to make something happen. And the ball is going to be down into the frontier. Ooh, big bump. And they're going to, that's going to be a throw and the ball out of bounds. Otherwise, that would have been a foul. Wake is down with it for a minute and then taken away by Pope Francis. Frontier fullbacks doing a good job trying to keep the ball to the outside, trying not to let any opportunities form in the middle part of the field. Mm. Morse always seems to be on top of the ball on the frontier side of the field. Oh, big contact there. <laughs> That was, uh, that was Gates Tuttle who took out the Pope Francis winger. And now it looks like we've got, oh, it's a direct or indirect. Frontier should put a wall up here, I would think, Joe. Mm. Let's see it, though. Now the referee is going to go over and explain an indirect kick needs to be touched first before it can be shot on goal. And let's see what they, they're going to back them off, they got to back them off 10 yards. And there will be a wall put up. Let's see what happens here. And the shot's going to be taken. Big save. Saved by Jarvis. That was Jarvis on the indirect kick from number two of Pope Francis, Bryant Keeney. That was a big stop, and it's going to be a corner kick. Corner kick. Header. And cleared out by the Frontier defense. Good, Good job by Frontier there. Now Wakeus on a run. One on two, loses control. He's got some speed, though. He does. Throw in for Pope Francis. And Frontier takes control. That's... DeMeo pushing it up ahead, looking for Wake Kiss out of bounds. And it is frontier ball with a throw in. Big throw in. Flick and boot back reverse style by the Pope Francis defender. Out of bounds, still frontier football or soccer ball. <laughs> Connor Wake Kiss to throw in. Ooh, that looked like almost like a dangerous play. Pretty high kick. Did. Out of bounds. And Joe, why don't you take the call on this next uh, series here? Okay. Looks like Risley to throw in. DeMeo with the header, booted out. To Bright. Oh! Risley got annihilated. That. No, the call is going to be against Grizzly. I don't know whether it's crazy. It's, it's, a, it's a throw in. It went out of bounds. All right. Here's Bryant Keeney with the throw in. Oh, no. They're switching it. Keeney. 
the handle up the sideline. Out of bounds. And it's going to be frontier ball. Grizzly to throw in. Finds Francis. Press on the goal by Pope, and it is deflected. Tracked down by Nick Jarvis for a good stop there. Jarvis has all kinds of confidence. He's a veteran. He's been in that net for a while. Yes, he has. Three years, I think it is. And out of bounds, it'll be Pope Francis' ball. Santino Giordano to throw it in. Yes. That's a soccer name right there. <laughs> it is. There's Keeney. He might have an offsides there, I think. Couldn't tell you. Uh, Felt Nemec to throw oh. in. <laughs> Weak is behind him. Back to Murphy. Here's Gates Tuttle. Felt Nemrick back down the field into Pope territory. Uh, Sindhu takes the ball away. It's back in the hands of Pope Francis. Out of bounds, it'll be Pope Francis' ball. What do we got here? Quick substitution for a Frontier, it looks like. Felt Nemrick with a nice throw. Oh, yeah, Keeney just pushed uh, Tanner Finch right there. There's a lot of bumping going on. Hasn't been really called yeah. much. I've also noticed that. Ben Morris to boot it. Good kick. Right to Kirk Alonis. Not quite right to Kirk Alonis, I suppose. And here's Felt Emmerich up the field. Pope Francis gets the ball. Grizzly with the stop. Whoa! Ooh, that was pretty nice. A little bit of a scissor kick. Oh! And what's the whistle? Offside? I wonder. Looked like a pretty good bid. But I yeah. think they're going to say it was offside. That was a very nice kick by Risley there up ahead to Wakis. Ooh. That was close. Yeah, that would have been a pretty crazy goal. Goal kick for Frontier. Checking out for the Hawks is Tenson Sindhu. At the end of the game is Brady Birch. Seeing his first minutes. And here's Morse. Big kick. 50 minutes left in period, uh, half of the first half, rather. And handball, I think, maybe. Ball back to Pope Francis. This is where you want to hold the line if you're frontier defensively and see if you can snag an offsides call. Absolutely. It's a kick by Francis, headed by Felt Emmerich. Kicked Fr ahead by DeMeo back into Pope Francis' territory. The frontier's defense is holding up pretty well. Oh, I mean, yeah. I think that Francis certainly seems that bad, the better of it in terms of controlling the ball, but I think Frontier's D is kept the ball out of the middle as they should and re propelled a lot of these little attacks that could turn into runs. Absolutely. Breakaways. And here's Morse with the ball to Kirk Alonis. Stopped by Francis at about the half court line. Half field line, that is. And here's the throw in. Keeney. 
Ooh. Ooh. He likes to throw his weight yeah, around. Yeah, liberal use of the elbow there by Keeney. And the rest of his body, too. Just threw himself at Finch. Here's the cross. And looks like a bit of a whiffed header there by Pope Francis. Here's the cross. Keeney. Blocked by DeMeo. Great Good. effort there. Great defense by Frontier. Yes. And quick substitution for Pope Francis. As they send in Jack Termel. Who's going to run across the field and take that throw. There's the inbound. Good move. Termel with it. Left foot Bust inside and Morris kicks it back. Headed right. No, Felton Emmerich. And here's Birch. Out of bounds. It'll be Pope Ball. Peyton Sladeski also joining the Red Hawks in the game now. Kicked ahead by Ben Morse. Wakis nearly outpacing them all. Oh! That taken down. It's going to be a throw in. They could have got him for a trip there, but Wakis again stuck with it. He did. Very impressive speed there by the striker. Looks like he'll take the throw in. And it's thrown to Finch, and Finch heads it out of bounds. Pope ball. It could be a goal kick. 11.50 to go in the first half, no score. Frontier's defense, I think, has been the story in this first half. They've really done a good job of holding off a clearly talented Pope Francis team. Yep. Yeah, they control it, Francis. Pope Francis is showing at the ball. Make it seem like with a less strong defense, teams probably wouldn't be doing this well at this point. Look at Wakis. Wakis fighting off three defenders, tries to turn and cross it. And that should be a corner kick. It I think it went off one of the Pope Francis players, but. I think it just spun off Wakis' foot. Okay, I, it looked like it was deflected, but it'll be a goal kick. Here it is to Morse. Phil Emmerich gets it to DeMeo. DeMeo kicks it out of bounds. Pope Francis ball. Good idea, just a little too much mustard on that kick. Yeah, and it looks like now Frontier's starting to get it on the other side of the field a little more. Here's Matt Seacard checked into the game, number 24. And he'll kick it off Pope Francis' head. Uh, Ooh. And here's a ball back. Jarvis picks it up. He will punt. Nice punt there. Good settle by Pelletier. Very nice. Trapped there. And Jarvis, like you said, so experienced in the net. Confident enough to run out and grab that ball. Kick three quarters of the field. And it's coming back to Jarvis here. Oh, what a save there. That looked like Jarvis didn't get to that ball in time. Would have been Pope Francis in the net. Well, that was dangerous. Yes. That was, that was dangerous in the sense that that kid's got great jets. And if they can make that timing pattern work, they're going to be a dangerous team down the stretch here. Mm. Here's Kirk Alonis ahead. Stopped. Kicked back into Pope Francis territory. Here's Morse on the ball. Looks like he was. Oh! Yeah, I Maybe thought there was. A foul against Morse. There was a lot of contact there. I'm not surprised yes. he called that. The midfield t uh, play of Pope Francis has been impressive tonight. They've yeah, done a good job of, of directing. This is again an indirect kick, I believe. This could be a shot on goal from that vantage point. 
I don't believe Frontier would have a wall up at this point if it were a shot on goal. Yeah, you're right. They faked it. <laughs> Trick play there. Referee blows the whistle. Looks like it will be Frontier ball. It should be. It went off. It looked like it went off Pope Francis player. Well, wait a second. I don't think everybody was set. McNutt checking into the game for Frontier. <laughs> Good play. Here Where's it is, lead? Francis. Oh, oh, what a save! What a spectacular save by Jarvis. Oh, Nick Jarvis came up big on that one. That was a great, the best bit of the night so far. But Noah Rivera, yeah, he got inside. He had a clean shot at goal, but Jarvis said no. Very, very impressive. This should be a corner kick on the left side. It will be. It's going to be Bryant Keeney will take it for the Cardinals. It's going to be a short kick. Keeney gets it back. Here's cross. the cross. Oh, oh, wow. Two big saves by Jarvis, back to back. Frontier's got to get clear the ball out of that uh, penalty spot. And the referee blows whistle. I'm not sure what we have here. <laughs> Looks Somebody like getting a card? Frontier is excited about something. They're going to card the bench, I think, of Pope oh. Francis. Uh, the Pope Francis coach must have gotten a little bit loud. <laughs> yeah, I did not expect that. You don't okay. expect to see a coach get a yellow card, but I think that... He's been chirping most of the night about the riff of the officiating. I haven't noticed him missing a lot of calls, quite frankly, but apparently the Pope Francis coach did not like that, voice his opinion, and he got carded for it. Yes, he did. <laughs> Maybe he'll back off. I don't, I don't know. That's the thing, you know, you can work the refs only so much and they will yeah. react. And in the case of the game of soccer, you have the option of the red card or the yellow card, you took the yellow. That's true. And here is Morse to kick off for Frontier. Gets the C card. With the ball. Good square pass. Felt Emmerich ahead. Pope Francis recovers. Gets it back to Rivera and Risley. The fight with Rivera at half field. Rivera blows by. Oh, he's fast. So fast. With and without the ball. Whoa. Head clear. Or attempted head clear by Tuttle. Ended up in the hands of the goaltender Jarvis. So yes. Pope Francis is getting a little closer to getting some quality scoring bids. Seems like Frontier just needs to get it up the field. There's Sindhu, Felton Emmerich. There you go. That looked like a handball to me. It did. And they're going to go back to the goal to Whoa, wait a minute. That was a 50-50 ball. So I think that was a mistake there. It was. But uh, Frontier recovers. Good shot on goal by Simba Pelletier, just wide. So Pope Francis is starting to zero in a bit, and the Hawks' defense has held, but they're, they're showing signs of uh, fatigue, I think. That is a fair, fair assessment of what is occurring here. Five minutes to go in the half. That kick by Morris was uh, one of those with no spin on it. <laughs> yeah, looks like it knuckled a bit, you're right. And here's Pope Francis. Seven. 
And McNutt gets it up the field. Booted by goalkeeper for Pope Francis. DeMeo tries to get a ball. <laughs> Kozel again with the seemingly <laughs> unnecessary. A <laughs> little bit of uh, histrionics there, I think. But I think that yeah. uh, what we have is it's going to go back. Did it go out of bounds? It's going to be a throw. Yeah. Frontier ball, Karen Bright. No, it's a kick. It's a kick, okay, because I couldn't, I couldn't tell what was going on there. Substitution for Frontier, Kirk Alonis comes out of the game. It looks like perhaps Noah Jacques subbed in for him. Yes, I believe so. Matt, Matt Jacques. An opportunity here for Frontier if they can get a, a ball inside that penalty area. They could have the chance of, for their first really good scoring opportunity if they can get this ball in play. I think Frontier is short a player, so going back in is Tom Kirk uh, I think they just did an illegal, illegal substitution. Okay, so <laughs> I'll bring someone else off. <laughs> Take by Bright. Picked up by Francis. And a diving interception there by. Pope Francis, goalkeeper. Boots it ahead. Mm -hmm. Seems as though the clock is not running here at uh, I Frontier. think at this point they keep it on the field for oh, the last five minutes. So the, official, the officials will have the time on the field. But we're inside of five minutes left to go in the half. And the Pope Francis player is slow to get up there. Here's Pope Francis with the inbound. Kicked up ahead. Gates Tuttle with the stop. Felt Emmerich the big kick. Nicely done. Yeah, almost a dangerous C player. card. Yeah. Very close. High heel, high, uh, high toes. Jarvis, I believe lets it go. Yeah, you gotta watch, I think, for Pope Francis is Pelletier, Simba Pelletier. He seems to be the guy who's making a lot of the plays out there and setting up a lot of these 50-50 balls mm. and square passes that are allowing Pope Francis to sort of volley the ball in in hopes of getting the, the foot on it. Completely agree, yeah. Ooh. Good kick ahead by Seacard, but there is no red shirts. France, Pope Francis. Get it to Keeney. Rivera looking to get ahead of the pack, but stopped short. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Trip there by... Uh, that was Connor Wadecki. Thank you. He dropped the hammer on the Frontier player. And here's Morse going to take the kick. Up ahead, stopped by Tuttle. Wow. C-card kicked up. But A lot of bumping going on by that uh, defensive line of Pope Francis. Yeah, a lot of bumping going on in general. Yeah, but they're very physical. Whenever you see a red shirt down there with the ball, they're getting pop popped and elbowed. And like that? <laughs> like that, exactly. <laughs> Seems like pass. Frontier hasn't had a single uh, shot, really. They really haven't. And it's, there hasn't been much of an offensive flow for Frontier in this game. No. That's partly because of the good midfield play of uh, Pope Francis. Yeah, their ability to keep the ball on Frontier side of the field. I mean, in a situation like this, when you're playing, you know, midfield sort of neutral zone soccer, it, the better skilled midfield is going to be the one that's going to have the advantage. And, and that will be the end of the first half. So we played one half from Frontier Regional School at the end of one half. Frontier nothing, Pope Francis nothing.
Getting ready for second half action here from Frontier Regional School. Chris Collins, Joe Thompson, Kevin Murphy, and Alec Echo out here at South Deerfield as the Hawks take on the Pope Francis Cardinals from down the valley. And uh, that first half, I think uh, Frontier's defense held up pretty well, but the, the better of the play, I think, went to Pope Francis in terms of ball control and, and certainly scoring opportunities. Yes, absolutely. Pope Francis seemed to always be uh, on the offensive side of the ball. And uh, while Frontier was always on the defensive side of the ball, as he said, I found their defense quite impressive. Frontier moving right to left here to start this second half. And uh, again, a couple of great saves by Nick Jarvis. A couple of uh, goal-saving saves. Uh, the not that many good scoring opportunities, but a couple of really close ones that he was able to knock out, keep out of the net. And so Francis will start off <clears throat> with the kickoff as Frontier kicked the, the ball off to start the game, and we're underway with the second half. Keeney gets it ahead, and Jarvis picks up the ball. They made an adjustment. Now they're running uh, Simba Pelletier on the right wing. And that, that uh, lead pass was intended for him. Ooh. Here's the kick downfield, and you see the speed by... Pope Francis all around just to get to that ball. Here's the ball ahead. Kicked up by Pope Francis. Here's Noah Rivera. Good short passes, good ball movement by Francis. There's Keeney. be a throw in for Pope Francis. Thought it went off of a Francis player, but they're going to say it's his, so. Here it is inbounded back to Pope Francis player. Kicked ahead, and Jarvis is going to come out and grab that ball. Very vertical punt there. Ooh. Height of Pope Francis player coming in there. Head there. It's Wakis. Yeah, that one just Incredible came out of speed, bounds. Yeah. But he, he, he'd have to be, he'd have to have flash like speed to catch yeah. that one. That ball was spinning out of bounds, but good effort. Yes. Oh! <laughs> Double head Mommy. ricochet. That's going to leave a mark. That was Seacard that took that one off the melon. Or was it Seacard? No, it wasn't. I'm sorry. It was uh, Sindhu. Sindhu. Yes, it was. That's a tough kid that comes back. He took that right in the <laughs> face. Yes, he did. Put a kick there for the head. Out of bounds. Pope Francis will take. Here's number four. He's effusive. Here's DeMeo. It looks like Frontier stepping it up on offense a little bit here. What a throw in there. Nearly a field goal, as someone pointed out in the audience there. No, even DeMeo got that ball, and you know, I thought maybe he could one time it, but it just wasn't going to spin that way for him. But yeah. a good bid. And then Felt Nemec just to shoot it from half. <laughs> well, I mean, that's that's a uh, with that kid's foot, he's got that, that's a shot he yeah, should absolutely. take. Yeah, absolutely. No one's expecting it either. That's <laughs> right. Here's the kick. Oof. Up ahead, Jarvis coming out. 
getting the ball. Yeah, a little too far ahead, but good idea. <laughs> it's a bit of a short punt for him, one of his shorter ones tonight. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Looks like a foul. That's definitely a foul. So direct kick coming for Frontier. Ooh, Finch with little mini uh, rainbow, I believe, bicycle kick. There's a lead pass. Waykiss tried to keep it in, but able to keep it in, but taken away by Pope Francis. Chest trap volley there, nicely done by Risley, but out of bounds. Here it is, DeMeo heads it. Finch for the. Ooh. Oh, wow. Big pile up there. Well, that was. Foul on Pope Francis. Yeah, and that's actually a good call as Jakes was making a run, and it was, uh, I believe. Connor Martins that got in his way and upended him. This is a possible situation here for Frontier. Good ball, but they're going to call off sides, I think. Yeah, I think there was one Frontier player behind, and that's going to be an offside call. Again, you got to have one player between you and the net. And what happened was Pope, Pope Francis just pulled up and Got up and trapped him. Smart That's a move. good tactic there. Well, we, we should try and do that. When I, I played fullback in high school, and I was always afraid I was going to get trapped because I wasn't fast enough. Now here's a headman pass for Pope Francis. That should be Frontier's ball. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Ooh. Looks like Pope Prince player there coming down with a bit of a yeah. hurting head. A lot of a lot of over the back stuff in this game. Like that. Yep. And Frontier's moving the ball down the field through uh Rowan. So this is gonna be a kick though. Good ball. So it was there by Morrison. Out of bounds. No, Wake kiss was on the. It should be a Pope corner Francis. kick. Yeah, it should be a corner kick. Maybe Frontier can get a shot on goal here. We'll get a couple more chances like that, and Wake kiss is going to put one of these in one of these times. Yes, he will. Very talented striker. Ball headed back. Battle for it, shot blocked. <laughs> Tuttle tries to handle taken away. Oh, nearly taken away by Keeney. And someone get over there and help teamed. him. Yeah, someone's got to go over there and help him. <coughs> oh. And it will be Frontier Ball. Into the hands of fi feet of Finch, rather. Oh. Nearly a dangerous play. That nearly a dangerous play. Here's Rivera with the handle. He's got space. Sundu tracking him down. Here's Sandfelt Nemrick on the defense. And ooh, the pullback by Pope Francis, and it's in the middle. And Frontier able to clear. It looks like Wakus has a run. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that was a very tremendous stop there by the goalie of Pope Francis. The only thing he could do was just kick it to the sidelines because Wakus was right in his shirt. Yeah, if you one on one with Connor Wakus on the pass break, it's not going to end well for your goalie. Whoa. Ooh. 
battle for it. And the coaches for Pope Francis wanted to foul on the goalkeeper. And so does Rivera. And they're <laughs> working the refs goalie. pretty good. They're not going to win that argument. I don't think so. 30 minutes to play here in the second half. Close what happens if we end tied? I'm not sure. Do they have an extra time? or? I don't know about no. regular season rules. I don't, it's an independent game, so I'm not sure. Maybe it would just be a tie. We'll cross that bridge when we come <laughs> Exactly. Yusuf coming out and going back into the game is John Zolch. One of two Zolches on this team. Inbound. Throw. And it's ahead. Pope Francis. Karen Bright tracking down the, the ball. Picks it right back to Pope Francis players. Oh, no like call. A push there. That looked like a push is right. But uh, as you said, no call by the referees. That looks like out of Pope Francis, and it will be frontier ball. Nice volley. That's yeah, very nice. Good ball down the left, the right wing side. Oh, and they keep it in. And good effort by Ben Morse there. Get it back in frontier possession, and Wakis is going to try to. Oh, Wakis does track it down, but it'll be Pope Francis. I'd, I'd almost put one more striker up there, Joe. I, I, I think Wakis is all by himself up there, and he's usually facing three or four defenders. It'd be good to have some support. Brisley to throw in. Gets it in. Pope Francis kicks it upfield. Karen Bright with the header. Sunny tries to trap it, but it's kicked out of bounds. Yeah, Pope good, Francis good ball. attempt to settle that ball. That was not an easy ball to take. No. I'm not sure that that was a totally legal throw. That Ooh. Like a Ooh. A lot of bumping. <laughs> Looks like they were tangled up. Their arms were tangled up there. Pope Francis with the handle at half field. Oh, lost it. Frontier ball. They're just trying to run it up the field at this point. Here's the kick back. Francis with the Pick up field. Oh! And it looks a little bit of contact there. I don't know if the Francis player was trying to draw a foul there, but. That was Connor Wadecki. And Sunday with a great save there. Great uh, tackle, rather. And it will be Pope Francis throwing. Little past midfield. Intercepted by Gates Tuttle. Tenzin Sundu with the handle. Oop. And DeMeo trying to get it ahead to Wiggis, but no luck. Collected by the goalkeeper, Pope Francis. Koja likes to roll on the ground when he catches that ball. Yeah. Unusual. It's looking for highlight plays. I guess so. <laughs> You're not going to get a replay from Murphy that way. No. It's going to be Frontier ball here. I still think that Frontier would benefit from putting a couple more guys up there with Wakis. He is, he is outnumbered every time he touches the ball on their front line. It's true, but at the same time, I don't think they want to compromise the integrity of their back line. I get it. Good stop there by Rivera. Grizzly, offsides. Yep. They, they've run that trap a couple of times very, very well, Pope Francis has. Let's finish those offsides, it looks like. It's a goal kick. No, just, just a kick. 
Here it is up ahead. And it will be Pope Francis Ball. And now it will be Frontier Ball. Well, it's been a battle of Pope Francis's midfield against Frontier's back line. And this game has been played primarily in the middle part of the field. Checking out for Frontier is Jakes, and checking in is Kirk Lawrence. I guess it's going to come down to who's going to make the first mistake here, Joe. Very true. And it's been a pretty sound game so far on both sides of the ball. I think Pope Francis had the better of it in terms of ball control, but Frontier has come out with a different look here in the second half in terms of their front line play. And it would be a Frontier corner kick. And here's an opportunity. Seems so Gates Tuttle's going to take it. I may be mistaken. Gets it into Finch. Finch back to Tuttle. Ooh, nearly with a cross there, and Wakis mishandles. Oh, wow. A lot of contact no there. Call. These referees are deciding. I think the, uh, the Pope Francis coaches got to him. <laughs> I guess. Now that was an obvious foul. Oh! Third time today. And a fight for possession here around midfield. For Colonna, and it will be frontier possession. So the Hawks looking for a break here. Got some more subs coming in for Pope Francis. 24 minutes to go in the game. Mm -hmm. Not sure what happens if it ends in a tie. I'm not sure what the format would be. Would it be extra time or maybe they just declare it a tie? I don't know. And I'm not sure what the call is here. Did someone get carded? I don't know. But it was a couple of subs that came out for Pope Francis. Right for Frontier, Tanner Finch sat down. Headed by Ben Morris. Good play by Morris because they had a breaking winger. Ooh, Gates Tuttle with the cross. Good handle by Tuttle. But again, Pope Francis midfield proving very strong. Oh, that's a good ball. Oh, no. Good play Jarvis by Jarvis. With a good hustle play there. Heads up play. Sindhu with the kick. Ooh, cross. Oh, and here's yeah. Seacard. Kicks it upfield and back to Pope Francis. Here is Pope Francis. Felt Nemrick to defend. Oh, a lot of contact there. Still no foul, so I guess they're not calling it yeah, both ways. Yeah, like the refs have swallowed the whistles at this point. Here. Yeah. A lot of contact there. That was inside the penalty area, too, so Frontier got a break. Yes. Good, Good boot. boot. And it looks like a push called on Wakis. Yeah. And Wakis, I know exactly what he was trying to do. He was trying to judge that ball, and he got—he just put his hands on the guy. He can't do that. Yes. <clears throat> Although Wakis is playing good 10 to 15 yards up ahead of everybody else. Good ball. Well, wow, I'm impressed he kept that in. Here's C-card. Got to get it out. Nope. Here's Cam Risley. Chips it ahead. Gonna be Risley. And through the legs of Kirkalonis. It'll be out of bounds. 
So there's a frontier player down behind the play. Might be a cramp. I'm not sure who. Let's get a number here. It's Cameron Risley. Yep. Risley's holding his left ankle or calf. He's going to walk off on his own power. Looks like he should be all right. Teams talking things over with the ref on the far sideline. I figure out what the play is here. Perhaps a discussion over possession. I think so. Well, technically, it should be Pope Francis's ball because it was a frontier player that was down, but it's a throw, and it looks like so. I think the ball went out before the player went down. No, it's, no, Pope, it's, Francis it's Pope Francis' ball. ball. That's what it should be. That's going to be a throw in. Kirkalonis, right on the stop, keeps it in bounds, but that's only aiding Pope Francis here. Ooh, 50-50 ball. Jarvis with an incredible <laughs> play. <laughs> wow, great experience pays off there. Sticking with, uh, sticking with the offensive defense there. And and again, a push on Fra Pope Francis. Yes, it is. A lot of contact. And Ben Morse will take the kick. Well, here's an opportunity. Ben can float it a little bit. Good ball. Whoa! Oh, field goal. Not quite. <laughs> Tough break. One timer by uh, Wait Waitkiss, and he just did not get the whole foot on it. You can see he's really bummed out. As that yeah. was the best bid I think Frontiers had all night. Then you saw the uh, Pope Francis player there jumped up and grabbed the top of the goal, but he slipped and fell on his back. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I hope he's not injured. Not a good thing to do. No. Here it is ahead. Out of bounds, and it's going to be Pope Francis Ball. 20 minutes to go in this one. And Pope Francis kicking ahead to Rivera. And then you get an offside. Oh. Yep. First time I believe Pope Francis has been on that side of an offside call. That's correct. Good ball. Nice passing. Missed a tackle there. And the handle here by Pope Francis. And Matt Seacard takes it away. Only to be taken right back. And now I'm noticing Carson Kokot is checking to the game. Oh, this Pelletier guy is unbelievable. He's looking like Pele right now. <laughs> Driven through everybody. Finally relieved of the ball. By Kokot. Simba Pelletier, the senior midfielder, is going to throw it in. And they'll throw it in to Pelletier. Good cross. And here it is taken away by Tuttle. Tuttle taking it up the oh, sideline. tripped. There's the call by the referee. A card. Oh, yep. yellow card. Yeah, that's a good call. That was pretty flagrant. Well, it looks like Tuttle's slow to get up. It's hobbling a bit. Kick for Frontier. Oh, 
Ben Morse to take the kick, I believe. Got to watch that offside trap. Good boot. Oh, Lakers Lakers has pursuit. it. Oh, man. <laughs> that was a great setup, and Wakekiss is just a half second short. That goalie struck preemptively and correctly there. Morse ahead. Kick back. Into frontier territory. And Tenzundu with the handle. Gets it ahead, but not quite. Pope Francis back with the ball. Oh, and it's going to be no Rivera and Karen Bright with a sprint off. Rivera gets the 50 50 ball. And blocked. And here's Gates Tuttle once more, taking it away from the Pope Francis players. And yeah, Chris, I, I'm agreeing with you now. Wakis is just getting triple teamed. Oh, again. No card that time, but yeah, that was again another trip. And for the problem, it's been there all night. I mean, the, the balls haven't been quite as consistent to him, and every time there's a consistent run, he's running one against three, and that's not a, a good way to go. Now they've moved a couple of guys up there. And again, Pope Francis holding that line, trying to draw off sides. Got to get more loft under those kicks. Good ball, square ball. Jarvis with the pickup. About 15 minutes and 15 seconds left to play here in the second half. <laughs> Moving up the field Ooh. and Felton Emmerich with the tackle there. And Jarvis once more with the pickup. There it is, but Jarvis kicked ahead. Oh, slips on the ball. It's Pope Francis player. And it looks like that's going to go out of bounds. Frontier ball. Let's see if the Hawks have a couple more runs in them here. Yeah, let's see. Ooh! Yes, that's a foul on Cocott. Yeah, that was... Uh, that was a definite uh, kick in the ankle. <laughs> Pope Francis player slow to get up. Those hurt though, especially on a colder night. Looks like Keeney. No, Keeney will not take. This one you got to watch out for. Is this a direct kick? Uh, it, it looks. I think it might be indirect, but we'll see. He's oh, that's it. Keeney with the ball crosses inside and the miss. That was smart. They, oh, they, that was Felt Nemrick. He kicked it out of bounds. Well, they sent Keeney down in that corner, anticipating a Karen the other way, and it was a, it went that way, and it should be a corner kick for Pope Francis with 13 minutes to go. He need to take the corner kick. Bright heads it out. The goal box. And Finch is going to take it. Gets it ahead. Good job to Wakis. Oh! No call. That should have been obstruction. He blocked him with his path of the ball, but... And here's the kick ahead. Right with a header out of bounds. Pope Francis will take and now the we ball. Got, what do we have here? We have a timeout. Is it a timeout on the floor? We have an injured player. Wickes is back farther. Oh, no. That's no good in Frontier. Looks like he's holding his left leg. That was a wicked collision down there with, between him and the Pope Francis defender. Uh, 
it's slow to get up. Oh, he's going to come off, and he's hurt. Walking slowly on the left ankle. Looks like Victor McNutt will check into the game. Play striker. All right, so we got a throw in for Pope Francis. And Karen Bright gets it up. That was a handball that went uncalled against Frontier. Chips ahead. Here's Matt Jocks. Ooh. Jocks trying to get the ball. And I don't think Jocks liked having the ball taken away from him. And now we got you're gonna get a yellow card for his trouble because he got a knee in there and an area you yeah, don't want to drop a knee. It seemed like a bit excessive reaching with the leg there for the ball. Yeah, they, gotta, they gotta pull him off, right? If he gets a card, I think. Yep, and then McGranigan's gonna enter the game for the Red Hawks. Grand against first minutes of the night. Here's the kick ahead by Pope Francis. And Karen Bright knocks it back out. Ooh! And Grand again. Inside. Good. Good positioning. Back to McGran again. Oh. If only he kept that on the ground, I think McNutt could have had the goal there. Yeah, I think maybe he was thinking he had somebody trailing on the right wing. But if he'd taken a couple of more steps with it, he might have had a shot on net. It's easy to say that from up here, but uh -huh, when, it when, is. when you've got two defenders bearing down on you. Just over 10 minutes left to play here. Frontier ball on the throw in. Let's see if the Hawks have a, another shot at it here. No offsides on throw in. Here's Frontier, Tanner Finch with the handle, and Pope Francis back in control. Kirk Alonis with the cross to the middle. Tanner Finch manages to keep the ball nice alive. Move. McNutt shoots it, and it's safe. Good opportunity. Again, Frontier poking away at it. Yeah. That was actually a pretty good shot by McNutt there. Foot race to the ball. Ooh. Looks like Finch was undercut, and there's no call. Goal kick for yep. Pope Francis. It was smart to let that go out. Oh, good idea. Just a little too far ahead. Here's a throw in by Pope Francis, and Karen Bright heads it up. The Grand again heads it out. Morse with the head ball. Jarvis with the collection. It's a good shot by Rivera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
McGranigan. Oh! Knockdown. A forearm shiver there. And that causes Frontier crowd outrage. Yeah. Frontier crowd was not pleased with that. No, they were not. And the guy who hit him was a couple, a couple uh, sizes uh, above him, too. Yeah. Uh-oh. Here's the tip. Felton Emmerich. Don't mess Ooh. around with it. There you go. Good job by Bright there to get the ball out of bounds. Here's the inbound. Pope Francis with the handle. Across it middle. Felton Emmerich kicks it out. And here's Pope Francis. There you go. Here's the kick oh, up. Offside. It's a good bid, but there was one player behind the defense. And again, trapped up nicely by the frontier fullbacks. Yes. Here's the kick ahead, Karen Bright with the handle. And a lot of contact there. And DeMeo gets it away, but it's right back to Pope. And uh, tensions are escalating here. <laughs> All right, we got a throw in here, looks like. Substitution made by Pope Francis and Wake is back in the game for Frontier. Good sign. That is a good sign. He's walking pretty good. And then kicked out of bounds. It looks like it'll be a corner. Corner, yep. So it's a dangerous situation here with about five to go. He needed to take the corner kick. <laughs> Stopped by Sundu. Kirk Alonis keeps it. Nope. No, nope, they'll do it again. Time being kept on the field now by the referees. McKetter out. And Wakis, surrounded by white shirts again. And he blocks it. Staying with it. And it'll be a frontier throw. Frontier kick, I believe. No, you're right, sorry. No worries. Oh, looks like McGranning has a shot here. Oh, and oh my on. goodness. No call. I have to agree. That was uh, pretty flagrant. It seems that uh, it's really the fans who are getting the most engaged in this <laughs> altercations here. Well, in that case, that was an obvious call. That was yes, it was. With McGranigan keeping his head. Good, to, good for him. Um, And that should be Frontier possession, yes. Estimating about four minutes to go here. Go straight at the net with this. And into the hands of Pope Francis, goalkeeper. Here's Ben Morse. Oh, 
And here's Ethan DeMeo. Ooh. Oh my. And Jarvis manages to get it to the midfielder. Tanner that, Finch. That may very well have been a goal saving a goal saving stop by Jarvis. And Wakis manages to kick it farther up the field for Pope Francis to throw. Oh, no, they're taking it there. I think one of the Pope Francis players got hung up with uh, Jarvis and got the worst of it. He's walking away pretty gingerly right now. Mm. In a physical second half, for sure. Karen Bright with the handle. Blocked in midfield. It's a head to Rivera. Felton Emmerich kicks it off to the side. And that'll be out of bounds. Good job by Felton Emmerich to get back there. That was the only thing between him and the net. Rivera in the net, that is. Yes. Another quick substitution for Pope Francis. And they're going to switch off with the throw in. Big throw. Oh. It's out of bounds. Corner kick. Not a lot of time left here. It's a big defensive stand here for Frontier. Ball loose, 50-50 ball. Good flick header, offside. Ooh. Rivera was offside, the whistle blew, and Rivera tried to go in on the goalkeeper Jarvis, and Jarvis upended him. Let's see if Frontier can put together a run. Here's Morse. Tuttle. And it's Pope Francis' ball. I'm estimating about 50 seconds to play here. Good cross. Oh, oh one timer over the net. That was close. And that appears to be the game. Once you're walking away with the tie here. The final score from South Deerfield, Frontier. Pope Francis and a nothing up in top. The broadcast partner Joe Thompson for the second producer of Frontier Sports, Kevin Murphy and Howard Echo. I'm Chris Collins saying so long. We'll talk to you next time on Frontier Soccer. Frontier Community Action Network.